Today we're going to learn how to hack a toy with Makey Makey a couple of different ways. The first way is with conductive fabric tape. If you have conductive fabric tape and conductive thread, then you can just take some conductive tape and put it in two spots on your toy so that when those two spots touch, it will complete the circuit. You can use conductive thread to thread through your toy's hand to the back and then kind of tie a knot for an alligator clip to hook onto. And so all these materials are really flexible. Make sure the thread really has a good connection with the surface of the fabric tape, but also make sure that when you clip your alligator clip to the thread, it's really holding on tight. And the next step's pretty easy. Hook one alligator clip to space and one to earth, and then you're ready to test your circuit. If you see the light lighting up, then it's working. You can test it by pressing the two hands together, or you can use your hand as the thing that makes the connection. So that's one way, but what if you don't have conductive fabric tape and you don't have conductive thread? Well, let's do a no-sew method with materials from your Makey Makey Invention Kit. These white wires come in your kit and they're pre-cut and they're called hookup wire. Usually you use them for the back of the board. They're also perfect for poking through a stuffed toy to take the place of that conductive thread in this no-sew method for this project. Now grab a safety pin and some needle nose pliers. Use the exposed end of the wire and wrap it around your safety pin. Make sure that exposed end is firmly connected to your safety pin because that is what is extending our circuit. I used some low adhesive tape to hold the wire in place and then I clipped an alligator clip onto that wire and covered with tape to secure the alligator clip because what we are doing is extending the circuit from the alligator clip through the hookup wire and into the safety pin. So now test your circuit. Does it work? If not, make sure that you've got all those connections really firm around the safety pin and around the hookup wire. If you want to go a little further with this project, I'm going to suggest you create a body systems toy by creating multiple conductive spots and turning a clothespin into an alligator clip. This will help anyone who has trouble with those alligator clips. So to do this, it's pretty easy. All you need is a little bit of tin foil and a glue stick and a clothespin, of course. So you take the clothespin apart by wiggling off the metal piece and then you're going to take a glue stick and put glue on the foil so that you kind of made your own adhesive tape and you're gonna smooth that onto the inside of the clothespin legs. You're gonna do it on both sides, but one of the legs you need to wrap over and end so that you can alligator clip to this clothespin spot. Then you put it back together, attach your alligator clip, and now you've hacked a clothespin into an alligator clip that's a lot easier to open and close. And now use your imagination to create multiple contact points and code your monster and its body systems. This is your chance to share what makes your toy unique. The creature uses its hands for hunting. These one-fingered hands have 100,000 nerve fibers. This is six times more than the touch receptors in a human hand. See what the heart does. This creature has two hearts. That is one less heart than an octopus. And the last one. This creature's ears have a hearing range between 1,000 and 90,000 hertz, similar to the hearing of a rat, whereas the human hearing range is 20 to 20,000 hertz. Find the full guide for this class and more at makeymakey.com slash how to.